Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about using an external 12 volt battery to plug into your Yeti to extend its runtime. And as soon as I got this car charger, it got me thinking, I could probably plug this into my external battery here. So this video is an attempt to test out that theory. And this battery is an Optima Blue Top. It is an AGM lead acid battery rated at 66 amp hours. Um, it's a couple years old, it's at least three or four years old, so it's probably near the end or to its life. So it probably does not have nearly that capacity. And to top it off, because it is a lead acid battery, we can only really use 50% of its capacity because we don't want to cycle it to too deep. So best case scenario with this battery is 396 watt hours. I would expect with its age, we're probably at half that again. And to make connections easy, I have a pair of these NOCO receptacles. And these are heavy duty and they have a 15 amp fuse here. And they're just wired right onto the wire nuts of the battery. So that way we can plug things in. And into the first one, I'm plugging in this battery meter because like I said, we really need to keep tabs on how much we're discharging this lead acid battery. So this will let me keep tabs on that. So I think we're ready to run our test. So we're gonna start this at five amps. We're gonna start slow and low with the car charger. We don't wanna pull too much power. And we're gonna plug it right into this receptacle here. So now they are plugged in, it's connected to the battery. And so let's check out the lithium charger and it's happy. If you are blinded by the light, that means that things are working. Hooray. So I think we're ready to plug this into the Yeti and see what happens. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the MPPT charger. We'll see how that works. So the blue light's on, so that's a good sign. If it's blinking, that means things seem to be working. So let's see if this register is on the display. So I did find this took a little bit more time than normal to register, but there we go. So it's working just like it did connect to the car. I'm getting in the low 60s for input power here. So that's great. You can see the Yeti right now is at 78%. It's down 243 watt hours. Uh, I don't think my battery is gonna fill it up all the way, but there you go. And we'll take a quick look at the battery meter and it seems pretty happy too. So things seem to be chugging right along. So let's push our luck and try the higher 10 amp setting here. And mm, that's not a good idea. You can see it's an orange light. So that means the battery is pretty stressed out. So we're gonna switch it back to the five amp position and that makes the battery happy again. What I also was thinking is maybe we shouldn't use the MPPT input and instead just use the standard PWM. And I watched this for two hours and kept an eye on the voltage and you can see after about two hours, the voltage had dropped to the point where the battery was at 50% or so. Um, we ended up putting about 10% into the battery, so that's about 100 watt hours. So kind of disappointing in terms of how much power I was able to put into this, but it maybe just goes to show how dead the battery is. So what we can do though, is I have a battery charger here. Um, this is a pretty standard uh, NOCO Genius charger. This plugs into the wall. It has an AGM setting and it has the little 12 volt cigarette adapter at the end. So if we plug that in and we can always recharge it. So this could be recharged from a couple different ways. I'm currently charging this just from the wall so um, you can sort of consider this external battery as just a little extra power that you could use and then whenever the power came back on you could recharge it so i think that probably would work fairly well and this also would work with a lithium battery so you can see here this is just plugged into my power strip and that's plugged into the wall um, if you had a lot of solar power you could actually use the inverter on the yeti to charge the battery whenever you had a lot of sun so this is just really a proof of concept. Uh, this is not what I'd recommend as a setup for the battery. Uh, I would definitely go with something like a Battleborn lithium battery. Um, these are really fantastic. They have a lot of uh, features built into them and you can charge them with a standard lead acid charger as well. So you could basically swap this heavy battery out with that Battleborn and have tons of extra power plugged into your Yeti. Um, the other thing that you want to do is not babysit it. So you saw I was using that meter and I had to carefully watch it. But what you can do instead is you can get one of these battery protectors. And essentially what you can do is set what voltage limit you want to cut off the battery from the load. So that way you don't have to watch it. You could just say, hey, this should shut off at, you know, 12.2 volts and it will just automatically do it for you. 
All right, so to wrap up, really the point of this video is to say that, you know, this 12 volt car adapter is super useful, not just for charging in the car, but for expanding your system. So you don't have to wait for the new uh, link and tank products. Instead, I would definitely recommend just getting this cable and your favorite lead acid or lithium battery and just get a simple 12 volt receptacle that's fused plug it in and you're good to go and if you're shopping for a new battery to extend your yeti instead of just reusing an old battery like i did i would definitely go with a lithium battery there's really no good reason to go with lead acid these days they're so much better and they're a better value and always make sure that you put protection in for the battery itself so that you don't pull too much power out of it and damage it. So hopefully this gives you a blueprint on how to extend your Yeti Lithium in a really simple and inexpensive way. Now, compared to the forthcoming Link product, which is $400 just to plug it into a lead acid battery or the tank, which is an additional $400 and that is lead acid, you know, I think this $40 cable um, is a much better value and you can plug it into any battery you'd like. And so, you know, I think that's the way I'm going to go forward with extending my Yeti. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope this video is useful and please subscribe if you want more updates.